Hello everyone, my name is Rafal and I would like to welcome you to my YouTube channel. I know I was absent for many months, but I was dealing with some personal issues and believe me, I had a really hard time to get at the front of the camera, but I'm back and I'm gonna try to create more of those videos, especially right now where headshot photography is going through massive shift. Um, as you probably know, the AI is knocking on every door and it's really influencing um, everything what we do. So from now on, I'm going to try to create videos which are going to literally give you a little bit more understanding how this whole thing works, what we can do with this, and how we can apply AI to headshot photography. Of course, I'm going to do some other videos uh, related to lighting and all this stuff. Um, I know people are always extremely interested in those stuff, but my main focus will be AI because I deeply believe that this is going to massively disrupt our industry. And I think the more understanding we will have on this, we will start early implementing some of those things into our workflow. It's going to benefit us for the long run. Okay. So as you probably know, recently I was attending Canadian photography uh, conference. I've met there with some fantastic and extremely knowledgeable photographers who also are extremely inspired by AI and we have countless conversations um, and I've learned so much. And today I want to dedicate actually this video to one of my colleagues who um, also is extremely involved in AI technology, Sheldon. And he shared with me some of these things, what he does with AI. And I want to kind of pass this to you. So one of those things which I've noticed a lot of photographers struggle with is to get constructive criticism of their work. And I know most of us, we are trying to uh, find a mentor. We are trying to upload those images on social media to get some feedback. Those things sometimes might go really sideways. And what I mean by that, there's a lot of trolls out there who look at our images and try to like rip our images apart make us extremely bad about what do we do. Um, I know about those experiences because I've gone through them as well. We put so much work into our images. Someone who has no idea about hatchet photography, lighting, um, what do we do towards creating those images, take our image, as I said, rip apart and um, don't give us any uh, constructive criticism. It's just gonna make us feel bad about what do we do. Uh, and I'm sure a lot of photographers out there, including myself, had a really hard time to move forward because we couldn't get any information which allows us to get better at our craft. So those days are over, believe me or not, we can get really constructive criticism from AI. And when I talked to Sheldon about it, he actually showed me how this whole thing works, what we can do, how we can approach it. And I did some tests myself. I run my images through AI to get some criticism, to get some feedback. And this is what I'm going to show you today. And hopefully you will get some information which will help you to improve your work. I know we have to take some of those things with a um, grain of salt but um, I think it's a good start. And I think um, the feedback I received was quite interesting. Definitely, I will be recommending this for other photographers to do this and avoid all this drama on social media. So now what we're going to do, we're going to jump into chat GPT. I'm using, of course, the free version of it. You have to pay for the 4.01. I know you have some access uh, to it. I know they're trying to open up this more to the public, uh, but I'm going to show you how I do it and how you can analyze your images. So let's jump into chat GPT. So as I said, you have to create your own account. And now we are on the main page where we're going to analyzing our images. So what I did before I thought about how we can communicate with AI so it can provide us with some solid feedback on our image. So I create a script, which I'm going to just paste here, and it's pretty simple. You can change it to whatever way you want. Um, I know you can do all sorts of different uh, 
thinks when it comes to creating that description to what exactly you're looking for. Uh, so this is just an example. This is something what I've tested a little bit. I try to create something which gives AI some foundation how I want my images to be analyzed. So basically what, I, what I'm saying here is can you analyze this image as a professional headshot photographer and divide this analysis into following factors, lighting, retouching, composition, color coordination, facial expression, pose, and background choice. Please provide the analysis in three categories, detail analysis of the image, suggestion for improvement, and overall quality. And the reason I've done this is I want AI to dive deep into my image to basically give me feedback on all those aspects of my headshots. Now you are able to upload images to your AI. So now we're going to upload from the computer and I choose a bunch of different shots and um, we're going to start with just a general headshot. So AI will upload it and now we're going to click do the analysis and let's see what the AI will come up with. So let's wait and then let's see what we're going to get. I'm going to paste all those informations to the description and also I'm going to create a blog where you guys can go and read it yourself. But as you probably can see right away, the AI is analyzing the image and give me some interesting feedback. So let's wait and see what we're going to get. Okay, so we got it. So let's kind of go to the top. As you probably can see, the AI really deeply ran this image and went through lighting. Um, description, the lighting is soft, is evidently disrupt. Highlights the subject's face without harsh shadows. The lighting source appears to be coming from the front, slightly above the eye level, which creates a flattering effect. Effect, this type of lighting enhances the subject's features and creates pleasant professional look. So I'm getting some positive feedback, the retouching, the retouching is subtle and professional skin texture is smooth, but still retains a natural appearance, indicating the use of high quality retouching techniques. That's fantastic. Composition, the composition follows the rule of thirds uh, with subject's eyes. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Um, I'm going to paste this into my blog post where you guys can kind of um, go and read the whole thing. Then you have a color coordination, facial expression, um, pose, background choice, suggestion for improvement. Consider adding a hair light or rim light. Um, I think we added a little bit. There's not much though. And dimension to the image. Yeah, I could agree with this. I could push it a little bit more. Retouching, ensure the retouching is consistent across all images composition, color coordination. So overall quality, the overall quality of, of the headshot is high. The image is well lit, composed and retouched, resulting in a professional and approachable portrayal of the subject. Minor improvements could be made, but the current image serves an excellent example of professional headshot photography. Most of those things are fairly accurate, um, I have to say. Um, so this is something that definitely allows you to look at your images from a little bit of a different angle. So let's run uh, one more. Uh, so what are we going to do? Uh, we're going to create new chat. So there's like a little window here. We're going to copy and paste the same description. Um, let's right now upload image, which is a little bit more created with um, AI and let's see what it's going to say. So as you probably also noticed, this entire process is very fast, which is fascinating. Um, you know, you don't have to wait for a long, long time to, to get this uh, feedback. And also, I think if you want to dive deeper, you can continue the conversation with the AI and ask for more specific questions. So that's fascinating that you can have that conversation with AI about your images and dive really deep into analysis of your images. I think this is really great concept because now we can not only analyze these images, but we can learn from it. So we can use as an educational tool to help us with our work, which I think is 
fascinating. Okay, so we got the analysis. So you have detailed analysis of the image. There is suggestion for improvement. Um, as I said, I'm gonna put separate blog post for this so you guys can read it yourself. Let's run one more image. Let's open up another one. Um, I have one more image, which I wanna see what it's gonna say. Upload this one. So this is from my veteran photo shoot. And let's see what the AI is gonna say. As you probably notice, um, it's it's pretty fast process. And the most fascinating thing of this is you can do it for free, right? Like you don't have to really spend any money to do this. And again, let's kind of go for this quickly. Um, yeah, it's pretty much kind of similar headshots. So I'm, I'm guessing we're going to get similar outcome from the AI. But the main reason I want to show you this is to provide you with some new tool which will help you to analyze your um, images. Okay, so I hope that was interesting. I hope that's going to give you something new to look into and um, you can run some images. Um, I did some also tests with some out of focus images, which were a little bit um, like off um, and AI, I have to say, picked that up fairly well. So could analyze the sharpness, could analyze all those flaws and tell you about it and share with you how you can improve those. So again, um, I think that's something which I definitely want to share with you because I think this is this is amazing. This is something which completely changes the game. I also want to dedicate these videos to everyone out there um, who's starting off, someone who is looking for the improvement, is scared sometimes to share those images online because they think how people are going to take it, if people are going to like it. Um, I don't want to be kind of embarrassed at the front of so many people. So now you have a tool uh, where you can take your images and you can analyze them and you can get some feedback. So again, thank you for watching. Um, as I said, I hope this is going to help you. And if you have any questions, if you have any concerns, if you want to add something to this um, or you want to share some of those images you analyzed, please share those informations uh, with me. I'll be more than happy to uh, hear any feedback and uh, everything which you received from AI. So thank you for watching. Stay tuned and I'll chat with you guys very soon. Bye bye.